Hi there van fans, it's Alan here from Science and Events. So kia ora, ko Alan aho, ko Emily ear, and like I say, we are Science in a Van. Normally we go to schools all over New Zealand delivering fantastic science shows. So we do. But these times are anything but normal. So we're doing things slightly different from our shed in the beautiful 275 South Auckland. So, my friends, we have a great show planned for you today. It is gonna be a lot of fun. But I just want to clear something up. If you are watching and you're having a thumbs up week, fantastic. If you're having a thumbs down week, that's fine as well. My one's been like that a bit. So, you know, all is good. And we're just here to make your um, day, your week, a little bit more thumbs up. Even if it is pointing down just a little bit more, all is good. So we will um, get on with the show. Like I say, we have a fantastic Go. reactive show for you today. I'm there. just gonna get a tea towel. No, you're not. Have there we got go. a cloth. There awesome. was a cloth here. Oh, there it is. There it is, there <laughs> we go. So. Brilliant. There. We may or may not have some very expensive technical equipment under there, but I think everything is fine. Um, yeah, a very reactive show today. Um, and I want to do a massive shout out to everybody that's been saying hello. Yes, Ruby, that was very, very messy. Um, we've got heaps of messy stuff coming up. Yeah. Say about it, I'm yeah, so this, impressed. This is just the start of a mess. So it has just we, been we've a start. Lot to do. Um, oh, Cheesy's watching as well. Hey, hi there, Cheesy. Um, on YouTube especially, we get lots of comments, which we actually love. Um, but it's really good to learn only to share stuff that's related to the show. Don't share personal stuff about you because it's all about being safe online. And a massive shout out to Miss Stevens from Balance Bay School. Everybody clapping. Um, because she is helping us moderate today. So if you put anything dodgy in the comments on YouTube, um, she's going to delete that. And also um, just to help you out to learn how to be sensible online. And she loves the mess as well. Well done. Um, big shout out to our friends who are sharing our stuff online as well. Big shout out to um, Megan who teaches at Te Ara Potama Unit at Rose Hill School. And lots of her students are watching. So thank you everybody for sharing. And Matthias is watching today. Um, uh, from his tent and I think yeah. the Kovaches are watching too. Excellent. Um, our chief sponsor is late. Don't apologise mum. You're fine. All right. And um, of course there <laughs> will be jog of a day, 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 oh, day, oh, day, oh, day. You've got but, one right? I didn't have a one. Oh, he's got one. Oh yes. So um, most people will be familiar with this classic experiment. Like we say in our shows in schools, it's, it's our favourite. So it's really basic but awesome because you could totally have these things at home probably. Um, down here we've got some vinegar um, and here we've got some baking soda in a balloon. All I'm going to do is mix these together. Now you're scientists, you can make a prediction. <laughs> I've a made prediction. a prediction. <laughs> oh my gosh that was so great. Okay um, let's do it and see what happens. We're going to mix these materials together. You can make some observations what's happening there. You might even be able to hear something. Yeah, hold it up to the mic. Can you hear that? Very bubbly today. Um, so we've mixed baking soda and vinegar together. They've mixed together and we've had a reaction. And due to the mixing, we've actually got two new materials. So many bubbles. That's right, Ruby. Um, so down here, we've got a brand new material. Doesn't look like vinegar, because there's no vinegar. Um, this is called sodium acetate and water. And in here, you might want to think about what state of matter that is. Ooh. I know. It's something Alan's very familiar with. What state of matter is it, Alan? Gas. Mm hmm. You know a lot about gas. And this gas, you'll probably know what it is. If you know what it is, put it in the comments. But if you don't know, it's carbon dioxide. So we're going to be doing lots of. Um, we're going to do a fair testing thing, actually, with these two materials. So stay tuned in. It's going to be reactive. It's going to be messy. And we need to set up and make sure our equipment's protected. So we're going to play you a little video and then come back and do some more experiments. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Science in a bag. 
Hi there van fans, it's Alan from Science in a Van and I'm here at my workbench. I'm in between jobs at the moment and I thought I'll bring you a workbench story about this apron. We're going to explore what's inside it and what I carry in it. So first up we've got my HB mechanical pencil, a nice thin nib, no need for a sharpener, drawing beautiful lines all of the time. Fantastic. I also have a pen with a 0.4 millimeter tip. It's a nice fine black lines, which is great to have. I have a regular pencil. This is actually a grade B pencil. Gives me slightly darker and thicker lines. And then I have this really big thick pencil here, which is a HB pencil. But if I hold it up to a standard pencil, I don't know if you can see that, but there's quite a difference in size there. So these are really useful if I want to write a note, like a length of something, and I can see it across the room like so. Um, I'll hold that up and you can see that. So that is on the top, and there's one more thing, which is a small ruler. Very good just to get little measurements and that, so that's the top set. In the pouch pockets around my waist, I keep one of these engineer squares. These are great for checking that things are square and straight. So if I line it up here, I can see that's a square bit of wood. But if I line it up there, I can see it's slightly uneven. The other cool thing about this square is it's what's got a sliding bevel on it. And this comes out like so. And I can set at an angle that I want. And now I can check for that angle or trace that angle from somewhere. And that's been really useful as I've been working on this, which is going to be a rebate plane. So that is my engineer square. And that lives in my pocket. The pocket around my waist on my left hand side stays kind of empty but you can often find a rag in there some masking tape and this really useful ratchet screwdriver the other awesome thing about this apron is it's designed by myself emily made it up on the sewing machine and it's all made from reused materials so the main sheet here was an old painter's ground sheet and the blue bands here to make the straps are made from an old cargo ratchet strap so i hope you've enjoyed this workbench story and remember be like a proton stay positive Science in a It's been so fun to have a bit of time to set up and look at your comments. Our moderator, um, Alan, is asking, I hope you know the answer. Um, is a set square different to an engineer's square? Is it? Sorry, what was the, <laughs> what was the question? Oh, it's true. Um, something about an engineer's square and there's something called a, um, a set square. Yes, there is a difference. Um, <laughs> what is the difference? Know. An engineer's square is used by an engineer. <laughs> and no, 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 no. Uh, an engineer is an engineer square is an engineer tool. A set square is a graphic designery tool, and it's those plastic triangly things. You can get oh, metal yeah, ones yeah. as well. Now, I don't want to go too much off topic, but <laughs> we can help it. The one I showed in the video was uh, engineer square, which is similar to this one, and an engineer square should be square there and square on the outside edge as well where something like this mm. can only be really square on the inside edge this oh, edge yeah. won't necessarily be square however this one is pretty close so some people will argue that and that's Bits okay not argue. a set <laughs> square so an engineer square is square on the inside and the outside but other squares can be as well. But a set square is a plastic triangle set at certain angles. So you have a very sort of pointy one like that, which is 45 degrees. 
Then you have the one with the three angles on it as well. Another Slow thing you might want to look for is these. See, because I didn't even know you had that. These are called rafting squares. They come with little Is it books. to build rafts? No. Yeah, Rafters in, seat, in roofs. Oh and yeah, that. that's what I meant. And um, there's heaps of little clever tricks you can do. These are also called speed squares as well. But we should do a... I think Miss Stephen knows enough now. <laughs> we should do a square special. And Good explanation, she said. And all these terms, set squares, so set squares are this, set squares ain't square, these are square, loads are square. It all depends on, A, how well they're manufactured, which also coincides with how much you spend on them. And it also depends on how many times you drop them as well. So... <laughs> Let's get back to what we're doing. We're going to do a test, and our test is going to see, is going to answer a question. You always have a question when you're doing a test or a fair test. And the question is, are all vinegars reactive to baking soda in the same way that white vinegar is? So do all oh, vinegars... Because yeah. it's heaps of vinegars. All vinegars react to baking soda in the same way. So first of all, we're going to take our sample here. And what I'm going to do is switch to camera two for you. Bench cam. We'll do a little picture in picture. Are we good on that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there away. I am. I'm there twice, you lucky things. So, in a few <laughs> moments, Em's going to take oh, yes, a yes. tablespoon of baking soda. Now, this is white vinegar. White vinegar is great for using in your pavlovas and your cooking and stuff like that. It's a very Ooh, universal figure and a very universal vinegar. So um, we're so going to see how vinegar. this reacts. And then we're going to test two others to see if they react to the same amount of baking soda as before. So here we've got a quarter cup of vinegar. All our vinegars will be quarter cup measures and all our baking sodas will be a level tablespoon. So um, that's a good point, Alan, because if I just heat this, yeah. like it's not gonna be the same, that wouldn't be fair. No, that's so I'm correct. gonna use my grubby little finger yeah. and I'm just gonna level it off. Yeah. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind use our observations. We're just gonna look at what happens and compare those as we go. But what we're gonna ask you to do is as you watch this video, think of other ways we could measure the reaction and the amount of reaction. And maybe this mm. is an experiment you want to go off and do yourself. So you might have a different type of vinegar that you want to see how it reacts compared to white vinegar, or you might think of a better way of measuring the reaction and the amount of mess. So white vinegar, test number one, test let's number see one. how we go. Cause we're just sort of looking yeah. But think about how you could record that those observations, okay? So let's have a countdown from people at home. Mm. Louder. <laughs> okay, here we go. Watching. Ready here to make go, some observations. Ooh. Oh. Not bad. Hey, hey, yeah. So. Oh, I've just had an idea. So as you can see, we've made a bit of a mess. We've got the fizzing and foam in there. It's fizzing on the tray. So our vinegar and baking soda has mixed. They have had a reaction. That reaction has produced two different materials, um, carbon dioxide and sodium acetate in water. So exactly like Alan. the experiment <laughs> Emily did with the balloon. And we saw the reaction, we observed the reaction there. So I'm just gonna take this mm. and put this over here. Just what as you I'm do gonna that. do, I'm oh. going to put a dog bowl down here. <laughs> we don't have a dog. And actually, I can do that. Should we get a dog? Live. Oh. Yeah. Um, as you do that, Alan, like that's quite a lot of liquid. That's one way maybe you could record the data. You could yeah. somehow gather that liquid and measure it. Measure it, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe so, try it out, see how you go. Now, this is white wine vinegar. It's got a similar property. It looks similar to a, um, white no, wine vinegar, but what would you guys say? Oh, you the white it... wine vinegar is not as clear as the white vinegar, don't yeah, you reckon? This has got that tingy got sort of colour to it. Is it just because it's old or are they all like that? We haven't used this for a while they're from all, our cupboard. They're all like that. <laughs> and white wine vinegar is actually made from white wine. And oh. um, 
Although it's um, a little bit more acidic -y than white vinegar, it's got the sweeter taste because of the fermented grapes. And this is fantastic for using on salads and dressings and things like that. Who knew? So due to their properties, each vinegar has got its different usage and we're seeing if they react all the same to baking soda. So Emily, get your measure ready. I am. When you see me looking down here, I'm looking at the comments and that's why I'm laughing. Our roof fly from Melons Bay. Apparently they did this and our potato Olympics diving test. And now I just want to know more because that sounds amazing. Is that the same room five that knows so much about oh, measuring it's untrue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're no, I understand now. You must have done potato Olympics diving and then they measure the displaced water. Uh, that took yeah. me a while to figure out. Yeah. That is hilarious. I hope, did you make faces on the potatoes? Anyway, I'm going in. Yeah. All right, here we go. So this is the test. Same amount of baking soda, same amount of vinegar, but only the vinegar is different. Yeah. That's a good thing about a fair test. Just to change one thing at a time, one variable. Okay, are you ready? Yep. I don't know, I haven't done this before. So let's yeah. go. Three, two, one. Ooh. From your observations, Emily, would you say that was the same or different? I'd say that was a little bit disappointing, Alan. I mean, it fizzed and stuff, but I can see that not as much stuff came over the top. I reckon, what do you think? Put it in the comments, like, yeah. Lachlan said not as much. No. Nah. No, nah, I don't reckon either. And, and A, we're only testing one test to one test, so we should really do each one several times. But I actually think there was a kind of difference in the bubbles as well. It was kind of smaller, fizzier bubbles rather than the big reactive bubbles that we had before. But <clears throat> we'd need to test that more and more. Yeah. So we would say that there was a difference, I think. One I think there was a difference, and it's interesting, I hadn't thought about this, but looking at what's left, the sodium acetate and water, which I yeah. guess is similar but different, yeah. don't know much about that. It might be sodium acetate in white wine. White or wine, more, white wine. <laughs> or white wine. Well, yeah. it's a disgusting colour, that's what yeah. I was going to say, like, I don't know, um, I'm just taking it up to bench cam a bit, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit odd. Anyway, so there we go. do so we have any more vinegars to we test? We have one uh, more vinegar to is test. Is there another vinegar in the world? There, there's there's heaps of vinegars. There <gasps> are heaps. We, I, is this the special vinegar? We've got, hang on, we've got more vinegars in our pantry and then these three. And there's heaps more vinegars around the world. And um, check them out. They're great. But we have got, so we've had the universal vinegar. Yeah. We've had the fancy dressing vinegar, yeah. and now we've got what I would probably call the most English of all vinegars, and that is malt vinegar, <laughs> or as I would say where I'm from, bran vinegar. Bran so, vinegar. So this is um, bran vinegar or this malt is vinegar. Malt vinegar. Yeah. Um, and you bought the fancy stuff in the fancy bottle, way. Eh? I remember yes. that now. And the reason I brought that is you might remember last week we spoke about building a cajon with my friend Matthias and we did that on the Tuesday. And on the Friday we were supposed to, but obviously we had to cancel. Friday we were supposed to have Matthias over to finish it okay. and his mum was going to come over as well. We was all going to have fish and chips. Fish and although and she chops. is a proud fish to the core Norean, she's also got a oh, little yeah. bit of London experience behind her, <laughs> so she likes a brown vinegar with chips. And before everyone starts typing, mushy peas is more of a northern thing, we're a bit southern. So, um, Lachlan's there we go. made an observation about the properties, oh, yeah. about how it looks, and I have to agree with you, Lachlan. It looks like Coke, like Coca Cola. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Miss Stevens, our moderator, is totally into this. <laughs> she's like, she's already making a prediction. I wonder, predict. The darker the vinegar, the less spill and splash. Ooh. Love it. So that... You're literally part of the team now. That now comes... <laughs> I love it. That now comes. We could do this test again, and we could just do it about the colours of vinegar, mm. and then we could find tonal grades of vinegar and um, see what happens there. And there is red wine vinegar. And, and apple there, cider vinegar. Apple cider People are vinegar. talking about that too. So, so, you know, we could, again, 
we kind of make a living out of mixing vinegar and baking soda. What? But like I always say, A, do it in front of 250 kids in a hall, they all go, rah! And the other thing is, <laughs> is there is so much science behind this and it is great for fair testing and your science fairs, talking about variables and talking about reactions. But I want to get on with yeah, Mr. Brown see. Vinegar. I'm genuinely excited. So we're going to observe yeah, if make the reaction... Hang on, hang on. Oh, um, what's up? I'm just going to get camera and camera. Oh, we are camera and camera already. Oh, are we? Oh, yeah, you were all over oh, there. Yeah, you did it ages yeah, ago. Sorry. Look at yeah, you. I couldn't see You're it. You're so efficient, you don't even know. So, we got the brown vinegar here. Let's see what's going to happen. I really want that prediction to be true yeah. about the darker, but I have no idea. We've never done this. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah. Because malt vinegar is very smelly. Okay. Three. <laughs> two, two. One. Oh, whoa, Ooh. whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Uh oh. Now, not kind of talked about Coke. That looks like fizzy Coke to me. Hey, like, that oh, fizzed up like it smells, it smells like a chip shop. Well, I'm glad you got your sense of smell. <laughs> um, Good joke. Thank you. I appreciate myself too. That is, that um, is so different. That is. From looking at the liquid on the tray, I don't feel like there's more liquid on the tray than the first one, but I feel like the reaction went for longer. The bottom, Does that make sense? Bottom to top is all foam. There's a little bit. Oh, maybe more liquid did come out then. It's settling out now. Yeah, so much spilled out. Yeah. OMG. That is... Oh, chief sponsors onto it, aka Mum. Uh, there's also balsamic vinegar. Oh, here we go. I don't go. know if we have any of that in the house. Are we I that think, posh? We might do actually. Yeah, we, we go through phases of eating very posh food, so there yeah. might be quite a lot left over of that. <laughs> Why have to do that as extra content? Because we obviously haven't used it for a hundred years. Um, people are excited that their predictions have um, turned out to be correct. But you know what? The great thing about science is, if your prediction doesn't turn out, it's also great. Because <laughs> you just learn from it and move on. Like. It's fine. So, but it's pretty exciting when you're like, I know what's going to happen, and then it happens. Like, I get that. That's cool too. So, what we're going to do, we're kind of talking about <coughs> um, fair testing and doing stuff. So, um, let's have a look. There's the white vinegar. And oh, yeah. There's that vinegar. Oh, geez, that's interesting. I'll tell you what, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it that way. Do it in the order we did yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So if you look at the levels, this tray does ride up a little bit at the bottom. If what? I lift these... It's not perfect. Oh. <laughs> what? Why don't you mm. get your, your spirit level out, Alan? I'm sure you've got... Is there an engineer's spirit level? Too uh, soon? We could do a spirit level special easily. Oh, look, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. So is Miss Stevens. <laughs> so as you can see, like there was a quarter of a cup of each vinegar. So the volume... Of vinegar was the same yeah and the amount of baking soda that we put in is the same as well so that's done my head in so you've got an idea there now a lot of people are saying I they got their a lot of people are saying they got their predictions correct and that is fantastic I'm just gonna go to camera one now a lot of people are saying they got their predictions correct which is fantastic now I'm going to share something. <gasps> something personal? Doing this today. No. And just checking a few things before we did this live. I did a few little experiments and tests. Did and you? One thing I didn't realise is how, not how much they react, but how the reactions are different. Like I say, I'm convinced mm. that the bubbles were a bit bigger and a bit more <laughs> on this, where this was a bit more constant and uh, regular and frothed up. But then this one really that foamed was so up different. as well. And the foam lasted a lot longer than this. I wish we could auto replay these. We, we, it would be nice to watch them um, all side by side. But we have done a test. We have okay. done a test to see if all vinegars react to baking soda in the same way as white vinegar. And I would say that we've learned from this that not all vinegars we act the same way to baking soda as white vinegar. And again, yeah. if you've got apple cider vinegar at home and you've got other vinegars, 
put a quarter of a cup in a jar, add a tablespoon of baking soda and see if it reacts the same to our jars here. I don't know what volume these jars are, but I can But they're probably, all the same from the same brand, aren't they? Yeah, they're all from the same brand. And um, yeah. it doesn't actually tell us on... Do you know what else it might... Another variable, Ellen. Um, some of these vinegars have been in our cupboard a long time. I wonder if the age of the vinegar makes a difference, just saying. Just saying, there we go. I don't know how oh, we can test that, but... I've got some pickled gherkins in the thing. wonder what that vinegar does. So, <laughs> anyway, so so much to think <laughs> about. And this is all from uh, vinegar and stuff um, like that. So... Chief Sponsor put up some good info about different types of vinegars and how oh. they're made. Look at us all learning in lockdown. Nice one. This, hey. is, this is awesome. Love it. And this is exactly what the comments are for. The comments are for sharing information with us or information about the subject we're speaking about on there. So beautiful use yeah. of the comments there. Thank you, Chief Sponsor, for that. And... Um, Chief sponsor is M's mum, and we love how all of the parents are sitting with their um, sitting with their kids. All the teachers are um, online learning with their classrooms, and we're able to do this all together That's as right. a sort of family learning environment, teacher That's learning great. environment. So it's great. Thank you so much. And um, particularly the teachers that are watching, we've got two or three teachers in the chat, I think, and there's probably At least. some on other things watching as well. So teachers, if there's anything you want us to try and explain, um, especially why we're mm. in this um, situation we are now, over the next couple of weeks, I feel, if um, you want us to explain something or explore something, let mm -hmm. us know, bear in mind, the situation we're in, it's got to be, a, be, be done from two stalls in a shed in the beautiful South Auckland. What but Emily, done? how are we going? Well, we're a few minutes to the end of our show, Ellen, and I just want to say thank you for watching. It's been super fun. Um, quite surprising results. Yeah. Um, so we're going to wrap up today. Um, thank you, Fairburn School, for watching. I know there's lots hey. of time to hear from Fairburn School. Um, we've got a little video to play at the end. But we do also have joke of the day, 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 day. Are we doing it now? Day, 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 day. Let's do it now. Hey, you introduced it. I know, so but you I introduced just, it. I can't. I've got bubble brain. So. Okay, I'm ready. Emily. I hope I get it. Did you hear about the scientist that was trying to make a chemical mixture to solve all of the world's problems? I'm sure there's several of them doing that, but no, I don't know this joke. Did you hear about the scientist that was trying to make a chemical mixture to solve all of the world's problems? No, tell me about the scientist. He fell in and now he's part of the solution. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm so glad I got that. And my friends, we can all be part of the solution, but most of all, oh. remember, be like a proton. And stay positive. Hey. Hi there van fans, here at Science in a Van. Emily and I really enjoy delivering our Science in a Van live content. We have heard great feedback from teachers during this lockdown about how they're using Science in a Van Lives for their online learning. Parents are given thanks for the fun and laughter we brought into their homes, as well as bringing science into their home teaching. We appreciate you. Thanks for liking, subscribing and sharing and for every moment that you've enjoyed our content. <laughs> If you want to physically contribute to us at Science in a Van developing live content, then look in the description below for a link.